in September last year after Manchester United's defeat to Arsenal. Questions were to come post-game, not just about the overall performance and contentious decisions along the way, but a clear omission of Jadon Sancho. Someone who up to that point most definitely didn't have it easy in a United shirt, with many struggles for game time and consistency, but what ensued afterward would change the dynamic of that player and manager relationship for the long term. And, and something has happened now. So the United Twins need to speak about it. United, United. So after that Arsenal game, Eric Ten Hag's clear displeasure in Sancho's quality of training was clear and it led to a response in defence of Jadon's already polarising reputation online. After a few weeks of, of waiting for some sort of a resolution, nothing but silence and unnecessary converse followed. Jadon Sancho went out on loan to his previous club, Borussia Dortmund, where he saw familiar faces. He found that sense of care and, and being at home, which was visually apparent. Starring in a Champions League final run that unfortunately ended in defeat to Real Madrid. Fast forward to July 12th, where... The London born star returned to Manchester United training in preparations for a busy and important pre-season ahead. News followed on that same day instantly from multiple sources online which clarified the fact that both Eric Ten Hag and Jadon Sancho held positive talks and resolved any issues previously dividing both parties. And it, it was an interesting piece of news that will provoke a lot of a, a lot of talk a lot of opinion yeah i've tried not to look at or listen to anybody beforehand but if you want to know my opinion i say good at this point we don't know whether he stays or goes but what we do know is that in Jaden's position we are rather thin anthony right now is trending downwards i'm sure it will be a big season for ahmad of course, Don Nacho can play on the right, which helps. But naturally, you want to have that extra option. Not to mention the potential versatility he may offer across the entire front line or even behind the number nine, depending on how the manager intends to play moving forwards. Yes, yeah, CM, and when you think about the arrival of Joshua Xerxes being imminent at the time of this recording... An extra, more experienced option still on the cards too. We'll cover that hopefully in the next video, so stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. There will have to be an emphasis on having options that can play across the front line and, and making them thrive due to having competition for places, which in the correct environment should elevate performances and competitive spirit. All in an ideal world, of course. Back to the Sancho incident, however, you... You see the difference between where we were in September of 2023 and, and now in July of 2024. Ten months later, we have a structure. And, and check out our latest video for a full explanation of, of the situation and our opinions also. But Manchester United have an organised structure that understands the importance of, of timely resolutions. When, when problems arise, something that we didn't do originally. Timely and calculated responses to limit the damage. Mine and CM's biggest criticism of how the previous regime handled not just this incident, but many in a string of misfortunes, were how they decided to almost run away from attacking these things head first. Mm -hmm. Authority lacked in those cases, but not here. It seems there was a clear plan set in place and, and discussions also. Collaboration which led to a clear and understandable conclusion. Which was always the first step. Not the final one, but the first step that should have happened 10 months ago. Better late than never, however. And even though he won't be available for that Rosenborg preseason game on Monday, it intrigues me to see how much... The hatchet has really been buried because ultimately egos exist in sport. No doubt when it comes to both of these guys, fractured is probably an understatement or was probably an understatement. What follows will be telling about the next steps ahead here. We'll just have to wait and see. Very interesting times ahead 
for us Manchester United fans. With international football starting to wind down, the European Championship finals on Sunday, England versus Spain, the Copa America finals, and even Monday, Colombia versus Argentina. Pre-season will begin to ramp up. Five games between Monday and August the 4th, starting off against Norwegian side Rosenborg, and then we've got Rangers, Arsenal, Liverpool, Real Betis. I expect a lot of business also to take place. So strap in for the right, I guess. Because I am somewhat excited to see what transpires off the pitch. And, and me and, and, and Cappy will have a video coming out in the next few days. Just speaking about how poised we have been in the transfer window thus far. So look out for that one, ladies and gentlemen. And also, tell the United Twins what you would like us to speak about in the comment section below. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Share to your friends and frenemies. And until the next time, we'll see you lots in a bit.